All right, so in this video, I'm gonna be solving the equation x is equal to x over three. So there are actually several methods of solving this equation. And to solve this equation, we only have one, one variable, x. So x is a variable we need to find the value of. So for my solution, I'm going to first rewrite this problem over here. So I get x is equal to x over 3. And what I'm going to do is subtract x over 3 on both sides. So I get x minus x over 3 is equal to 0. Now, what a common mistake that most people do to solving this equation is they multiply both sides by 3, so they get 3x is equal to x, and then now they divide both sides by x, so they get 3 is equal to 1. And this is an invalid statement, so that is the wrong way of solving this. So the correct way is this one. I get x minus x over 3 is equal to 0, and now I'm going to multiply both sides by 3, so now I get 3x minus x is equal to 0. 3x minus x is 2x, so I get 2x is equal to 0. And now obviously, this is simple. All I have to do is divide both sides by 2, and I get x is equal to 0. So now, an important part is to check if this is right. So my equation was x is equal to x over 3, and x is equal to 0. So I plug in x for 0, I get 0 is equal to 0 over 3. 0 divided by any number is itself, so I get 0 equals 0, and this is right. Now I'm going to give you guys another problem, x is equal to x over 2. So try pausing the video and trying to solve this problem. Alright, so to solve this problem, I'm going to do the same thing which I did to our first problem. I'm going to subtract x over 2 on both sides. So I get x minus x over 2 is equal to 0. And now I'm going to multiply 2 on both sides. So I get 2x minus x is equal to 0. And I get x is equal to 0. So it's the same thing again using the same method. 